go. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the facilities committee. Um, and the meeting is called to order uh, at 3:30. All right. Um, hoping everybody is well. I'm glad everyone's here. Uh, did everyone have a chance to read the minutes mm -hmm. for January 12th? Yes. Okay. Do I have a motion to accept? So moved. Okay. It, I'll uh, second it. Second. Okay. Uh, all those in favor of the minutes? Aye. 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 Present. All right. Unanimous. Okay. Now we will get a report from the C Council on Aging. Uh, Ralph? I have nothing to report today. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, that's all Good right. men's breakfast. All is well. Good men's breakfast. Pardon? Good men's breakfast. Good men's breakfast, say. Actually, yeah. There you go, that's his report. <laughs> okay, no question about that, yeah. It's back and it's good. There right. you go. There See? you go. There you go, which is great. Okay, uh, a report from the Recreation direct, uh, Department, and today we have Eric Beebe, the director. Okay, well, Eric. Thanks for having me. I'm Eric Beebe. I'm the Recreation Director. Um, you know, I love coming and sitting with you guys, giving you a little update on what we're doing. I just wanted to give you kind of a rundown of what we're doing this winter and what we got coming up in the spring. Uh, just so you know, um, we do have a full slate of winter programs, despite what you may read in places. Uh, we have, uh, right now we're running uh, for youth programs. We have an indoor soccer program, an indoor field hockey. We have a youth pickleball clinic. We have a very popular after school program that runs here. You can probably hear them every day if you walk through. Um, we have a K-1-2 basketball clinic. We have travel basketball. Um, we also have a Hoops with Noop basketball clinic that's running a couple nights a week. Um, for adults and seniors, we have our sit and fit class, uh, our senior walking class. Uh, we have the ever popular pickleball, which has been growing every year. Um, and we have over 55 basketball and adult volleyball. Um, so we're staying busy with all that, but we're constantly looking to to expand, you know, wherever possible. Um, so we're looking into the spring already. We probably should have our spring brochure out by next week. Um, and different flyers on Instagram, which is like the, the main place that people are looking these days. Um, we're looking at our, continue our after school program. Uh, we're gonna have our normal T-ball. So we have a thing called Pre-Farm pre -farm League Clinic. That runs in the gym before the weather gets nice. Uh, it's very introductory skills for kids. That leads into our farm league, which is a t-ball that runs outdoors behind the building here. Um, we have another Hoops with Noop basketball clinic. We're going to have flag football. Uh, we're going to have a new program, age three to five t-ball. We're going to start even younger. So, um, And then we're looking at a couple other new programs, and we're trying to figure out logistics for now, uh, gymnastics and volleyball. Uh, so we'll see where it goes. You know, it's a matter of finding instructors because uh, you don't want me to do gymnastics. It's not lucky I could do a forward roll. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, what we're looking at doing. Um, the other big news, um, we're going to have a new website for the rec within the month uh, through the My Rec site, uh, which will be great for us because we'll be able to take registrations, payments online, book our fields online, um, basically do everything online, which, which is what parents want these days. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be getting out of the 19th century. <laughs> um, and then the other big news is our program specialist that's been here for, I believe, 36 years is retiring as of next Thursday, Sue Frazier. Um, so she'll be moving on um, after 36 years of service to the town and the rec department. Um, I'm doing in-house interviews uh, this week, um, so we're hoping to hire a good candidate within the next couple of weeks. Um, that's pretty much what's going on right now for us. And if you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. Uh, you might want to mention something about the uh, study we're doing on the splash pad. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, so we're looking, uh, the, the rec commission and the department are, the, the commission came up with the idea of next year's CPC season, looking for funding possibly for a splash pad somewhere in town. Um, this is a, it's still in the concept phase. Um, we're trying to get numbers on how much it would cost. Um, but the biggest thing is location, where what, we want to put it into. It? Splash pad, it's, it's kind of like a playground with uh -huh. water. Mm -hmm. um, lots of yeah. water spouts, yeah. things like yeah. that yeah. for kids. Um, there's one in Yarmouth now. <clears throat> there's, one, there's been one in Mashpee for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's pretty popular. Um, so we put a survey up on SurveyMonkey uh, mm -hmm. through Instagram to see where people would like to see it 
in town. Mm -hmm. um, and in the meantime, we're trying to get numbers on it just to see mm -hmm. cost, yeah. how big of a cost it's going to be. You know, but have those results been coming back in on location? I'm kind of curious. As they're they're yeah. just now coming in, so we have to make a decision now. So Survey Monkey apparently, we've had about 150 answers already That's the response great. and but you can only view 25 unless you pay the monthly fee ah. for survey monkey so we have to make a decision if we want to pay for that or not gotcha. so um but we'll figure out you know what the community wants and try to go in that direction if it if at all doable. in the other <clears throat> towns eric are they run by the town yeah uh the one in yarmouth is yeah both of them are uh -huh. yarmouth and mashpee yeah. yep yep so that's our big project um, for next CPC season. Do you want to let them know about the new uh, pickleball courts? That's yep, there. sure. Um, the current uh, CPC projects that are getting done right now, um, we just finished putting in the new pickleball courts over at Brooks Park. Mm -hmm. um, so there's four new courts. Um, the only thing left to do on that project is the painting and lining. Uh, they're coming back in the early spring to do that because the weather has to be right for it. Mm -hmm. Um, we're, we're looking to put a new bathroom in at Sand Pond uh, and a new bathroom in at the senior softball fields behind White House Field. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that, those are the ones that we have funding for currently. Mm -hmm. um, and then the ones that are just getting through CPC now, there's three that I believe will be funded. Um, one is for uh, beach AEDs, so AEDs at all town beaches for each right. lifeguard stand. Yep. Yep. Um, one is for new fencing at senior memorial softball field. And one is for a new electric for the irrigation out back here. Um, the electric's burnt out on the irrigation system, so they need to do that so it doesn't burn out. <clears throat> so, okay. I think that's everything. I just got two things, just real fast. Sure, yeah. I was just wondering, if, if people wanted to volunteer or help or whatever, should they contact you directly? Is that how it goes? Absolutely, yeah. Any volunteers, we, you know, we welcome all volunteers, and it's been great this winter because we've had... A really popular indoor soccer program, an indoor field hockey program over at the 204. Mm -hmm. That's added, I believe, between the two sessions of each, like over 100 kids mm -hmm. uh, have signed up. So, and that's volunteer run, which yeah. is a, great. Um, but if you want to volunteer, just contact our office. Okay. Um, usually, you come in and sit down with me for a minute or two, fill out a quarry form, and, and you know, and mm -hmm. you're good to go. That's good. Yep. That's good. That's good. That's a new baseball program should be approved. The new what? The baseball program we approved for. Well, that's uh, so the, there's a baseball group that came to the Rec Commission last meeting that was requesting use of the 204 indoor facility. Mm -hmm. That's still up in the air, um, but they're also requesting field use. Um, so they're going to apply for field use like everybody else. But it is a it's an AAU group um, that runs affordable programs for kids. So we're hoping that'll all work out as well okay. for the spring and summer. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And I had one last question. I'm sorry. Sure. Um, uh, I mean, does somebody else want to have a question? Go, ahead. Go. I had one. Since Sue's going to be retiring and she's in it, what, 30 something years or what? I've yeah. lost track. Yep. Uh, are we doing anything yes. to thank her? I should have mentioned that. Thursday, there's going to be a party. Um, I believe we're doing it at 11 o'clock. Is that right? Yeah, okay. 11 o'clock. Uh, well, well, that's when you booked it for. Yeah, I don't yeah. know when you're doing it, but it's there's booked no, for that. Well, there's the after party. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. okay. um, but yeah, we're going to have food and everything. And she, she doesn't want a huge yeah. hubble loose. She didn't even want this, so we kind of snuck that under the radar. Okay. So um, something small, but everybody's welcome, whoever wants to come. Say goodbye. And where's that? In the multi-purpose or in your side? We're doing it in your right side. in the, yeah, our side okay. here, yeah. Right in the lobby area. Yep, oh, right okay, in the, in the lobby. lobby. Thank you very yep. much. Does she know about the party? She does. Okay. She does. okay. Yep. I'm sorry, Ralph. I Question, where you. is the indoor soccer? Uh, the at the 204 gymnasium. I was given to understand the other day there was major vandalism. Yeah, so I got an email from Kara, the 204 director, that there was some vandalism and kids were messing with stuff in the lobby, I believe. Okay. Um, so we're trying to figure out, I did speak <clears> to the, <throat> the person that runs that program. Um, one of them is a rec commission member and his wife. Um, so they said they didn't, they have people monitoring the hallway. They didn't see anything happening while they were there. We're also in touch with the Saturday uh, futsal program because that has like, well over 100 kids too. So we're trying to figure out who it is and make sure there's a, a hall monitor for all these programs. Yeah, the next day the curtains are down. That's what I heard. All, all yep, that's what I heard too. So are... we're trying to put on our detective hats and get to the bottom of it. The other question I have, yep. the outdoor pickleball courts that are in existence now, Yep. are they available for use? So um, the ones that the first, we have eight now, and the, mm -hmm. we just added four more. 
Um, the eight that were there, so last spring and summer, for example, from eight to 12, they were reserved for the rec uh, adult program. Right. Um, and then it was open after that. Mm -hmm. What we plan to do with the four additional courts coming in now is to make two of the courts, at least two of the courts, public use all the time. Mm -hmm. So those will be open for public use. You know, if you come at 10 o'clock, and you want to play, you shouldn't have to leave because there's a big program going on. So <clears throat> that was part of the purpose of putting the new courts in. So right now, are they available to be used today, tomorrow? The new ones or the current no, the old ones? ones? The old ones can be used, yes. All right, if yeah. someone complained to me yesterday that it was all blocked off, they couldn't get to the courts. No, it's all blocked off. Still blocked off. Well, I went down here. Just what's walk. blocked off? The, they get the parking, the parking lot, lot is blocked yeah. off. Okay. The, the courts are open. The courts now. are open. You just have to park down by the tennis. Yeah, they block those off in the winter just to to prevent people from going in there and doing donuts yeah, in okay. the slow season. But the so. courts are generally available to be used. Yes. Okay. Yep. I'll, I'll tell the complaint. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. You have a great job. Any other questions for Eric? Uh, I just got one. I don't know if it's a question sure. or a comment. Um, I, I noticed uh, one of the select board meetings you're at pretty recently, There, the uh, issue came up of potentially using the Monomoy Regional School like gyms yeah. and then vice versa. So I know I, I had spoken with with Karen Gilmet over there, and it mm -hmm. sounds like there's room for conversation relative yeah. to that. So hoping that you'll be able to engage with her. Yeah, and I so I have a, a call in to Karen. Um, I've always worked really well with her, um, so we're going to sit down and see what we can figure out. Um, in the past, we haven't used the school gyms because they're the cost, the right. fee was astronomical. Um, but with the you know the request and the need for expansion, especially of winter programming, only having the access to two gyms. The more gyms, the better. So yeah. we're definitely going to sit down with her and try and, to work it out. You know, I'm I'm kind of new with this, but I see you know when I see like the the school charges the town, and then the town also charges the school for use of fields over yep. a join you know next it, to the school. It seems like there's room there for negotiation. Yep. And, I, and I recognize that absolutely. that's probably a select board and school committee level decision. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But obviously, I think if you and Karen kind of yeah can get on because the they pay us for use of the, a lot of the fields, you know, right. whether it's Brooks Park or White House. Yeah. Right, yep. right, right. Yep. So, absolutely. Great. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. I have one other question. Sure. In the gym, it sounds like an airplane landing frequently. Those the units, the air conditioning units, whatever they are. The gym here? Noisy, yeah. Is yep. it here? Noisy, then quiet, then noisy. Do we know? I don't know if that's your problem or your problem. Sounds like your problem. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Air, so we don't have air conditioning in the gym. There is no. Well, there never has all been. Cold air blowing down from the fans, aren't they? We they, have fans. We there. don't even. There is a yeah. the airflow system in the building, but it's not air, and it's been looked at several times. Uh, it's. Um, I will certainly put in a work order to the highway department again, but I. I do know that they have looked at it before, and um, they did not find an issue when they looked. So. Well, I can tell you there is an issue because if it's freezing in at certain parts of the court, and also the noise level is just incredible sometimes. Mm. Okay. So. I will check on that. Thank you. In fact, I'll come and tell you when I hear it. <laughs> sure, you know you always can. <laughs> Get your cell phone out and record it. I, I, I knew how I would. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. I'm right down the hall, seriously. Come you. get me anytime. I, I, I try and stop in there too, I, I know as you know. You. And so you. I'm happy. Yeah. I didn't hear it the last time I was in there taking well, pictures of bleaches. So, yeah, just yeah. I'll check with Sean and I'll keep checking in. Taking pictures of pigeons? Bleachers. Oh, bleach. <laughs> pigeons too. I don't know if Bon has pigeons. Uh, that's funny. I'm sorry. I don't know if Bon has anything to add. To okay. His regular. I'm oh, sorry. Can we add any? Uh, Vahan, would you like to add anything else to the recreation commission? No, or? The director did well. Yeah, he did. He did very well. Uh, are there any other questions for Eric Thank or Vahan? I will just say Eric had let me know in advance that he does have to leave for another commitment. Yes. So. I, that's, I, that's that's okay. Coaching. Just so you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, and I no, appreciate it. Any time, I'd, I'd be happy to give updates anytime you guys want. Okay. Yep. Thank you. So, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Yeah. Good luck this right, weekend. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Okay. I'll check you later. See you okay. guys. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. We're now on to old business. And uh, Carolyn, would you like to start us off? Sure. Um, inside your packet, I hope they're in some kind of order, but I make no promises, but they are in the packet. Mm -hmm. um, you should have the final charge 
Uh, we did bring it before the select board. They asked for an update on one sentence. That sentence has been added. So this is the current charge uh, for the facilities committee. So I just wanted you all to have a copy. What are we looking at? Uh, should be just before the, the first. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the facilities committee report. This charge. No. Yeah. Which one are you? Uh, what does it look like? Am yeah. I on the correct page? That's it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Which one is it? This one. This one. Right. Yeah. Right. It's a community center yeah. facility. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Got it. It's Thank right you. after the minutes. Yep. yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is what was voted on by the Board of Selectmen. So that's yes. where are we looking at? Under scope and procedure, what is the whole this thing? This whole thing is the whole, the whole thing is, yep. is the charge. Yep. yep. Okay, thank you. Nice. You have to excuse me, folks. I've been gone for a couple of meetings. I no problem. With a, uh, not at all. Fractured oh. leg. <laughs> that's not well. Welcome back. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next thing inside your packet, or it might not be. Let, the let me, yeah, before oh. you go on, so Sorry. I'm just trying to catch up. Yeah, now. that's okay. Is this, this has not been approved by the Board of Selectmen yet? It has. It has been approved. It okay. has been approved at their last meeting. Oh, no, I'm Two sorry. Meetings Two, Two meetings ago. Two meetings ago. Yeah. Two meetings, right? And, I think so. Uh, both Heath and Chris were in the room. Right, there was you. no questions. It was, <clears throat> yeah, it was very smooth. smooth. Yeah. We had been working with <laughs> our liaison, uh, Michael McCaskill, and so. Yeah, that was quite a conversation about the charge that was presented prior to ours. I uh, was a little nervous. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, ours, uh, Carolyn did such a great job that it was uh, no question. So went through pretty quickly. Yeah. So yes, that one it is, has been approved, and what is currently on file that we're using. Great. Thank you all. You did have. Okay. All right. We're next on to budget updates. Yes, we are on to the budget updates. Thank you. Um, so. If you have your old budget, you will see that there are a few line item changes. I had my initial meeting with the town administrator, and I had brought to your attention that things like our electric, gas, and water had not been increased. After having that uh, meeting with the town administrator, uh -huh. we did in increase those line items 6%, um, and that's based on some actuals okay. and... and um, so we'll see. I'm hoping that's enough for us to go forward, but it certainly is a, a significant increase in what we had before. So that's um, one area where you'll see an increase. Yep. Electric, gas, and water. The other time, uh, the other one that went up um, is under salary and wages. I am proposing um, a two-step increase for uh, an employee who has been exceptional um, and her first review will be coming up so I, I think it's important that we reward mm -hmm. um, individuals who are working beyond the scope of what they should be and so that person is um, I haven't had a review with them yet so but I, I foresee I don't foresee anything changing so what is the uh, board of selectmen? Uh, what what is their message out there in terms of the final percentage? Yeah, two two and a half, so one and a half. Came out last week, right? Two percent, yeah. I think. Two percent total I've, for the town town budget. I think. So. I think. Right. Yeah. I think that's what it is. 2%. I think it's in that ballpark, to be honest with you. But now, obviously, I'm sorry. Is I to ask a question? <laughs> you can oh, ask yes. it. Go ahead. I know. You know, obviously, like so, the the new position that was created last year, that was. A p part of the way through the year, so that's why it's being reflected in this year's budget because it's budgeted correct. for the entire year. Whereas this current fiscal year was only budgeted for a portion of the year. Is that correct? It was not even budget. It, yes, correct. Yeah. It was. It never re reflected in my budget last year, so right. that's why this. So looks it makes like, it look like a dramatic jump, but right. it's a position that was already pre-existing. And but and now that. It's reflected in the budget. That's exactly what we put in the narrative as well. And as you all know, on March second, the board finance committee everyone meets so mm -hmm. i'm sure that's the first question so i might be preemptive and say the reason that's so high is because yeah. uh it's not something they're mm -hmm. not used to it happens in everyone's as soon as you get a new employee so okay question yeah. has joe approved this budget joe has submitted the budget to it, the it, select budget. board this uh, budget has been approved by Joe to, and moved on to the select one. I don't think they term it that way, do they? He does not. Reviewed it. He has reviewed, reviewed it, it and passed right. it on. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Yep. 
So he's not made any changes or any cuts or um, reductions or any, anything? He did not. No. We, in fact, increased it up by okay. those items we spoke of. Oh, fine. Thank you. Problem. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you on that one. I hope I don't have to give you another updated one, but I will <laughs> as they come up. I'm sure. I, I know it's a, a lot, but I just want you to have the most current facts as yep. things nope. change. No, you're on top of things. Um, the next one is the weight room fees. Yes. I had mentioned that I was concerned about our revolving fund weight room because I have been giving you the reports, which are in here. You'll see January, February, March. We do them three months at a time. So you'll see we had a few different ones. So what I did is I just broke down where we are. You'll see we're in the red, which is why I think it's important that we look at increasing the fees. Um, You'll see when it's a very large number, you know, one hundred eighty-one dollars and fifty-one cents. Uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty we're pretty good there. Uh, you'll see that there is like an eleven. Uh, we're in the negative. That's when we had to buy new equipment and have repairs done. So that's uh, that's to be understandable. That some months it's going to be because we had to buy two new pieces of equipment. But I'm more concerned about that on a on a very regular basis, we're not meeting our fundamental needs. And I have taken steps to get us closer to that bottom line, but I still believe that um, currently we charge $15 for 30 days. I would like, my recommendation to you is that we should do $20. But before I do that, I would like to have some listening tours and put the word out to hear what people are saying about the cost of the weight room, the quality of the equipment that they're getting. Um, that's my recommendation based on sheer numbers, but I haven't heard from the public and I really want to do that. But before I would do that, I would clearly come to you and make sure. And then I think that I would bring back any recommendations or as we did in the past, I'm happy to set up some listening tours so that you can all hear people as well. Um, and then from there, we would go to make a recommendation to the select board uh, and do a public hearing for the public because it's on a fee. But the select board is the only one that can set mm -hmm. the fees. We're just making a recommendation. And I believe that we have shown that we're not... Uh, with a revolving fund, you cannot make money. You're not supposed to yeah. make money. Right, right. We're in no fear of that. <laughs> we also probably shouldn't lose money either. Right. So I think that we would even out. Uh, so I just tried to give you some graphs and charts and show you Am what I would... missing uh, October to December 22? Am I reading this wrong? I... October, November, and December. Uh, this one? She's yeah. second page. Yeah. yeah. No, There's another page. page. Okay. It might be it might be underneath your packet too. Uh, yeah. But yes. Yeah. Okay. Here, I, I have it. The answer is yes. Yes. I yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's also, like twenty thousand dollars loss. Correct. Through, through the calendar year. Correct. Yeah. And just for the um, public and your your own edification, um, those are usually covered when I don't have enough. I have been very fortunate to have a gift account. So town money is not used to pay that. So what comes out of a revolving fund, uh, just because people aren't clearly looking at it, uh, is what the money that we bring in, that's our revenue, our expenses, the trainer that is in that room, um, and some of the salaries. So uh, the salaries are only part-time people. Um, we have actually one of my proposals is that I actually did not fill one of our current revolving fund positions and I'm stretching the staff to its maximum just because I was concerned about this budget and how much is left in our gift account. And so I, I think it it's important that we look. I I'm not a fan of raising fees, as you all know, uh, but I do think that we are providing a service. It's very popular. I, I think that one of the things that happened is when we went into COVID mm -hmm. uh, and came out, the level of cleaning that we do in that room is so 
expansive and we have wipes at every station and the wipes are the, the just the cost of the supplies are really they have uh, more than doubled in the few years that we've been doing this more elaborate cleaning which is important and I, I'm not saying we shouldn't do it um, and I looked at where we would cut I would make I would make every effort to not touch the trainer in that room that is it's invaluable the um, mm -hmm. the amount of people that she has helped um and because we're not fully staffed in there it, it's just an it's really a necessity it's it's not it's not something we can do away with so i i, I can't make it any leaner trust me i, I yes. i'm pretty frugal when it comes to that room um and our Employees who are working there are some of the lowest, lowest paid employees. Just so you know, like we really, I, it's such an asset to the town, and and just, uh, I I just think it's time that we need the yeah. small increase. We have not increased in. That's what was going to be my question. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the last time we increased, I'm sorry, I I want to say it was it was definitely before COVID. Uh, I believe it was. 2016 or 17, but I'll look up the exact date. What, what did you increase at that time? What was the increase uh, prior to COVID? Uh, so back then it was a yearly fee, and okay. I think we went from 130 to $150. That's what I remember. Thank Can you. Can I so, ask a question here? Do you think that raising it $5 is going to help put a dent in that $11,000? Well, the $11,000... I believe in transparency, and the eleven thousand dollars does not happen every year. Right. It just so happened that it happened in the one that I'm giving you because yeah. we needed the new equipment. Yeah. So when the eleven thousand dollars, I don't expect us to have money in there for things like that. I think that's very appropriate to use for our gift account. So I think the five dollars is going to make us even in operations of running a yearly weight room with the exception of buying new equipment. Yeah. And twenty dollars is actually reasonable. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've when done you, some when you look at all the other gyms and things around. It it's yeah. two forty a year. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's and reasonable. if you if you were trying to raise twenty thousand dollars, let's say erase this, that'd be a thousand months of memberships. Divide that by whatever, I don't mm -hmm. know. But, well and right. I think the fact that you've changed it from annual to monthly payments it provides more flexibility for members and you know it's potentially a little bit of loss in revenue but right. I understand the benefit to being flexible because if I don't let's say I go February 1st and then I don't you yeah, know and I, I go I go five times ten times during February and then I don't come back until March 20th I'm paying now for March 20th for Correct. a month. Like those, I'm not Correct. paying for those weeks I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Correct. So it's like that's that's. You mean you're only paying for 10 days? No, you're pay, no, you're paying. Oh. No, you pay for March lost. 20th. Now you would get until April 20th. Oh, you're really? Use me as an example. Yes. I went. Oh, well, I thought they gave the calendar month. <laughs> no, yeah. so you're no. Oh, so it's you're 30 actually. Days from I joined the, the third of the month. It's good till the third of the month the next. Right. And then let's right. say you go to Florida. I didn't Florida, realize that. Then let's say you go to Florida for two weeks on the third of the month the following month. And then you pay when you come back, and it's the twentieth. Now it goes to the twentieth of the Got next it. month. So okay. you're not, you know, you're not. So you, yeah. you're potentially paying a little less that. than annual. So it's it's great for the members. It well, provides some flexibility. Right. Wonderful. But, yeah. no, I, think, I, I would look. Uh, I, I was going to ask you one other question. Um, it, it, it's it's a wonderful program, and it really needs to be here. My other question, and I think you answered it before. If someone couldn't afford it, we don't turn them away. I right. try very hard we not to. I I, as you all know, the only people who can give. Um, Fee waivers is the board of selectmen, so. Um, but it's nice for people to know that, that they're not excluded. No, no, and we have had some people who have offered to purchase memberships for someone as yeah, well, which is nice. Yeah. Um, so. Nice, which is good. Yeah. Now, I'm sorry. Variation for the trainer from each quarter. It's she's hour hourly. Oh, she's okay. an hourly worker. Okay. So if we have holidays, she mm -hmm. her regular okay. hours are Monday through. And Thursdays, right. so there's a lot of Monday holidays. So, uh, and sometimes if we're having a special event or we're showcasing the weight room, we might ask her to come in to be there. So, she's people. A lot of people ask for her. 
Sometimes she has lines waiting for that's her. That's nice, though. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't challenging. Yeah, no, that's great. Right. That's what why. the difference she's just, is. Yeah. She's an hourly employee. Again, yeah. probably woefully underpaid, but does this as a, she's a Harwich person and has been working with us for a long time. I mean, she's surely paid well. <laughs> she's great. She really yeah, is. So. So that is my uh, revolving fund request, yep. is that if uh, you're still thinking about that this is an okay thing, I'd like to set up some of those listening tours so that I can have some information going forward. Maybe someone's going to give me an idea I haven't thought of. Um, I, I would also like to hear, I know that, I know the reason that we stopped doing the yearly membership um, and I would like to see what the public thinks, and if they'd like to get it back, that would be a decision not by me or this board. It's also with the finance department and the select board. But I'd like to hear what the public has to say. Which is good. So maybe we could offer both options um, with the public understanding that if something happens, there is no refunds, which is the reason we had to stop doing that. Yeah. So, Are you looking for us, uh, like at least Please. a verbal agreement or a motion? A motion to move forward. All right. Would you like to make a motion to move forward on the possible $5 increase? Would you like to make the motion? So moved. And second? No second. Okay. Uh, uh, let's vote. Yep. All in favor? All in favor? Good. Thank you. I will report back. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Uh, next is the uh, student rep. I had an opportunity to speak with Joy Jordan. Mm -hmm. um, Before and, you go there, can oh, I excuse me just again? Uh, the next page I'm looking at is the uh, center groups and organizations. That this, comes up later. Oh. We're, we're at the there. student rep for... Yeah, I know. I, but I mean, I, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay, yeah. Okay, back, student um, rep. So I had an opportunity to speak with Joy Jordan, um, and she is going to try and help us find an individual. Uh, starting next week, I have a senior student who's going to come over and volunteer with us. Um, so I might try and see if she's interested in well as well. Um, I really think it's important that we get some student input and mm -hmm. voice and uh, what's your job? What's the role for the student? I want the student to be part of this board. Okay. To come okay. in and That's give funny. us some information on what we're missing and what we can do better to connect with the schools and mm -hmm. uh, so working with with Joy on finding somebody who might be interested but also going to take advantage of the nice young woman who is coming to help us volunteer at some of our programs and here in the building, who's a senior. Mia is her name, so I'll introduce you if I see you around at any of the programs with her. So we're happy to have somebody who wants to come over here. So Is that part of the Monomoy internship program, or is it separate from that? Separate. Gotcha. Nice. Yes. And, and would that change our charge? It would not. You no. can add, they wouldn't be a voting member. Okay, got um, it. But... The input is the input. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, really, I get that. So, yeah. yes, Valuable. we can invite anybody we want. And, I, and could that's they needed. be like a guest. Of course. Yeah, high school yeah. liaison. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and that's definitely needed. We need to be involved with young Perhaps people. Perhaps we should uh, do something yeah. with the, the uh, student mm -hmm. council or the, uh, you know, the board they have over there. I don't know how it's running now. Yeah, this? yeah. Well, let's go with Mia first and see how it goes. And, then and Joy should... also is looking for us too, and I, I have a lot of faith in her. Oh yeah, I do Reaching too. out to yeah, the, I she, do too. she has a great pulse on the students and yeah. who's looking to get involved and yeah. Thank a student you. board member on the family pantry board as well. Isn't that a great yeah. asset yeah. for yeah. you? It's yeah. good. Maybe they want to come here too. Just kidding. we'll reach out. To them. Nice. Okay, so Vahan has also mentioned looking at student council kids, yeah. kids from the family pa that are volunteering in the family pantry. But yeah, I would open up to kids who really Anybody, are interested. Yeah, truly yeah, for are sure. interested. Yeah, which is good. All right. Um, next one, we're off to new business now. And uh, would you like to start us off? Uh, under new business, I just put the ethics, ethics training. training. I'm just going to give you a friendly reminder that this is the year that you just have to sign off that you are Did well I do aware. That? We can check in the town clerk's office yes, for I, you. I know where that is. You might. <laughs> yeah, it's not a it's not a training year. Right? It's not yeah. a training year. That's a, right. So it's a, a very yeah. quick sign off. I, I know that some of you I I had emails, so I appreciate that. Some of you have already done it, mm -hmm. and if you haven't done it before, then you do do the training and then sign off. So. Yeah. And then it goes automatically to the town clerk. Correct. Right? Yeah. Correct. 
So, Good. Okay. but I would be remiss if I did not remind you all because I love when we do our reports and I can say we are in compliance. <laughs> I am a rule Sounds follower. Good. And what's the final deadline in case somebody hasn't finished yet? April 1st, is it? I, I forgot. I thought it was the end of March, but it could it be could April be end of March. I, I, I couldn't remember. I was just reminding everybody. Well, you only have to do it once in the yeah. board. I believe well, that to be yes, true. That's yes, that's true. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I actually happen to do it for another town for work, but I can send that record okay. to Emily, and that mm -hmm. and it all works. So. Yeah, perfect. I did it for the rec. Perfect, perfect. So I we did should. Too. We're I, in I good don't shape. sound confident, but I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I think I know. We're in pretty good shape we're then. Good I shape, think that's. Yeah. I appreciate that. That's I know great. they do as well. Okay. Thank you. All right. The next one now is the director's update. Are right, you ready to roll with the newsletter? I am. In your packet, and gosh, I, I'm not sure which order this is. What about the booking letter? Did we miss that? Nope, sorry, it's coming what? up. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm lost. No, we're on the director's update. Yeah, it's under did building. We? Oh, did I put Did them? I miss something? Yeah. Well, I did. I, I have which draft one? next year booking letter. Okay, we can year. do that now. I don't care. Just... Let's do it now. I don't this have is... that. I don't have it either. I don't have that. Let's do it. Well, I was going to do it under. Oh. Okay. But we can do it. I, it what does it, it say? It can go under you... building use or. Oh, okay. That's I didn't a, have that. Okay. Building use. Yeah. yeah. So I have which way would you like me to do it? I have a secret it? agenda. Okay. <laughs> I don't have it either, so I must have sent you an early version. <laughs> um, I was going to do it under building use. Is are. that good? No. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So the newsletter you have in your packet, as always, the February newsletter. I am very happy to report that one of our new board members, mm. and it's not Heath, has given me their update. <laughs> <laughs> How is that? We so go. we're going to wait and hope that we get one last one so that we can put it in. So I started putting that together, and I realized I didn't know what exactly you were looking for for material. Oh, so if I you could send you me a sample. Absolutely. Yeah. There are helpful. a lot right online, too. You can see everyone here. Oh, on the homepage? Yeah, right. on the newsletter, in past newsletters. But I have one right in my office. We'll Thank send you. It that to would you. be helpful. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> Not to call you out, but I did. <laughs> I, I started working on it and realized I don't know exactly what she wants from me on this. So. Uh, it really is just to introduce yourself. You're limited to five pages, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll make an exception. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do. <laughs> um, so those will go in our next newsletter. One of the other things I wanted to mention is on your way in or on the way out, I hope that you walked by the front desk area where these very talented gentlemen, they're all gentlemen, um, took time oh. to make us what will be our newest computer station here, uh, which will have free computers, for the public to use, this is the Chatham Harwich Woodworkers They're Association. So, so talented, such a wonderful group of men. I am so mm. grateful. They were lovely, lovely to work with. Um, and we have put in the electricity. We're waiting for the computers to come over. But just another thing in a community center that you should really have. We have people all the time just asking if there's a computer they can jump on. Right. So. Um, so very grateful to the Chatham Harwich Newcomer, uh, Chatham Harwich Woodworkers Association. So mm -hmm. we'll send them a note of thanks, and they will be in our upcoming newsletter as well. Is that a walk-in type thing or something? It is. You know, nope. Nope. Or, so. It's just come on in. Mm -hmm. So there will be the three stations. Uh, we're excited about that. That's great. Mm -hmm. Is there going to be a printer? There. <laughs> There is plans for a printer. I'm not sure if it's coming in the first round or um, in the second, but yes, because we do get a lot of people who need to print something for an upcoming meeting. And mm -hmm. So, um, so uh, I, I know I'm jumping ahead on that, but when you say the computer and the printing, are we going to charge people? We will print? not be charging. If okay. it comes to a point where it's excessive, we'll, it just happens to be right outside my okay. office yeah. on purpose, so I may watch it and be monitoring it. It's also directly across from the front desk. Um, I, I feel like people are basically good, and I'm going to believe that until I... Can until you, you have it. at the library, do they charge you? Yeah. They do. Most places do. Yeah. That's why I just asked if the cost right. of ink and paper was really going if up. If it gets so. excessive, then we yeah. will. But this is truthfully what usually happens is that, you know, you're running in for one of your one meetings thing, and yeah. you forgot to print the agenda. page three. Yeah. And yeah. So 
most of the time people jump in. I print it for them. This is really just meant for that. So okay. I don't right. see a huge problem, problem, but it, you know, we're going to assess it as we go along, yeah. uh, but I'd like to, the community center, I try and make it as all of you do as really free people as friendly. possible <laughs> and, and family and friendly. <clears throat> uh, it's, it's really what I think the initial intent was. So fingers crossed. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to let Megan do the next. It's the event updates. All right. Okay. Um, I guess unless there's objection, I'll go through um, the rest of January. Talk about, I'm sorry, yeah. uh, February. <laughs> talk about February. And then what we're get, we have planned uh, coming up in March. Um, so we kicked off February with the duck decorating. We've given out over 100 ducks, 101 ducks. Um, and they've already started to come back, so they have till the 12th. So on the 12th is the last day they can submit their ducks. They'll be on display to be voted on. Um, and then we will announce the winner and have prizes on um, February 22nd, which is in the middle of uh, February vacation. We have a bunch of events going on then. Um, last night we did a, a collaboration with the Cape Cod Theater Company, Harwood Junior Theater, and had a drama class for kids. Um, it was to be well attended. Unfortunately, it's February and there's a lot of illnesses going around. So we had a couple people not able to show, but there were um, a handful of kids that came and had a really great time. Um, they pretty much got a free uh, class that's offered at the Harwich Junior Theater. Um, try it out. And I did hear a couple people leave saying they were um, likely to sign up at the Harwich Junior Theater. So it was kind of a try it, try it on, see if you like it type of thing. Um, next Tuesday, we have Valentine's Day Bingo, uh, which is actually going to be happening in the gym. Uh, we had a very large crowd last time. I think it was up to 75 people. So um, we've got some prizes and Valentine's Day themed. So we've got some good stuff. Um, and thank you to anybody who donated uh, prizes for that. Um, then next Thursday mm -hmm. is our first, well, is it our first? Yes. First, <laughs> an, first annual, soon to be annual, um, spaghetti dinner. So we're ready. <laughs> we're not ready. <laughs> I see on the fly that this sauce and garlic bread, will there be Parmesan cheese? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you brought that up. Yeah. <laughs> there will definitely be Parmesan cheese, but there will be bread. I'm not guaranteeing garlic bread. Yeah. I did think we would get garlic bread, but I have come to learn that that might not be the best for a large group oh. setting. So, so bread. So there's <laughs> bread for reasons people have allergies, and that seems to be one. So. Understood. But Parmesan cheese, can I just, a show of hands, how many of you eat your pasta with Parmesan cheese? Oh, my God. <laughs> I grew up all Irish, and we don't even put red sauce on it, so I didn't know about this Parmesan and cheese. It was the spaghetti dinner was her idea. That's funny. <laughs> how many folks do you normally, you normally get at uh, this? I mean, do you ever run out of food? So we have advertised that we will serve until 7.30 or until we run out of food. No, 7. I'm sorry, 7 o'clock or until we run out of food. So it, the senior, the Council on Aging is going to be providing a bus. Nope. Friends of the Council Friends of the Council on Aging. Council Friends on the... I apologize. I, I, yes. I do apologize. Yes. Uh, we'll be providing rides. <laughs> rides yes. from uh, Pine Oaks. Which for up to eleven. They're gonna have full ups. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's nice. That's I tell I Reagan we're either stuff. going to be feeding each other the <laughs> volunteers or everyone's gonna get one noodle. Yeah. Oh, there you go. No, I'm just kidding. It's gonna be fine. Um, but I do want to say one thing about this event. It really did come like most of our events. We're having conversations, and it's just a. What do you think of? Try it. But I I want to say that I have been so impressed and it truly is this event has become exactly what this building was meant for because friends of the coa members of the coa people in the fire department the women's club everyone has said how can we help how can we help which to me is exactly what this building is a community mm -hmm. and the community coming together and so no matter what happens it is already a success in my opinion and the 
town chef, knowing that I don't know how to cook, has volunteered <laughs> to come in. Volunteered. That's I mean, awesome. we've had a lot We're of just, people volunteer. It's, yeah, it, that's great. It's going to be a great, great event because truthfully, everyone's heart's in the right place. It's just about the community. So, mm -hmm. and I'm sure the pasta will be delicious. And presumably the drinks will include red wine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. But. Hopefully you don't need one when you leave and go home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. um, so that's that's we're excited about that. Obviously, we've been when she says people have been coming up, we stand in the lobby talking about it, and <laughs> people are so inquisitive. And yeah, then yeah. we passed out. It, it'll be fun. Um, also, is the duck hunt that will so February vacation? We've tried to to put some extra things in this month if it looks a little um, heavy on events. Uh, February vacation, the 22nd, we're going to be doing the duck hunt, which will be indoors. Um, there'll be... Is that right No. Go ahead. You're right. Yeah. 10? Ducks 10 ducks hidden. hidden. Yes. No, I thought you said 10. 10 oh, there it is. 10 ducks hidden. Starts at 8 a.m. Um, they'll be hidden all indoors. Um, there'll be a master list at the front desk when you come in. Um, so if you find a duck, you bring it to the front desk and you win a prize and there'll be a wanted poster. So you know which ducks you're looking for and there'll be decoys. Mm -hmm. Um, and when the duck is found, we put a captured sign over yes. it. Oh, so that's cute. the kids know not to be looking for that one or the adults, it, whomever. How many years have you done this? This is the, is this the second? Inside. Third? This is the second, the second year. We've second. done the town wide one also. Yeah. A long yes. time. Yeah. There's only one duck. There are 10, Ten. Oh, and there, okay. yes. Oh, Keep just February twentieth. Sorry, I skipped ahead. February twentieth, which is the first the Monday or is that Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday? Is Monday's Tuesday. a holiday. Monday's a holiday. Buildings closed. Tuesday is magic show with Crazy Davy, who has been here before and was uh, back by popular demand. Um, so we'll be doing that um, on Tuesday at two o'clock. Free event, open to all ages. And February 22nd, now the same day as the duck, um, the duck hunt, we're also going to be doing for the, we're going to try this for the third time. We've had to postpone this event, but we're going to, we're doing it. Um, it's going to lend, it's a lend a hand. So we'll have a station set up with paint and um, postcards to leave a handprint. And we're going to laminate and decorate a wall in the community center, just showing all the members of the community. It takes a whole community to lend a hand. Mm -hmm. So that'll be happening from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So when you come in to do your duck hunt, you can also leave a handprint. Um, and then to end February vacation, we're going to do a family dance party with a DJ. Um, his name's Scott from Cape Tunes. He's kindly offered to come um, DJ the event for us. So we'll have light refreshments open to everybody all ages. It's going to be a lot of fun. Dancing. And break dancing. Or any kind of dancing. <laughs> I can't wait to see I would it. love to see everybody break down. <laughs> um, and then just, I'm going to quickly go through March. Um, we have a couple of really cool things lined up. Um, in line with our Try It workshop where we did the creative drama stuff and the improv, we're going to kind of um, start heading towards spring and we're going to be having a dog trainer. He's um, the owner of XFed Dog Training and Brewster come in and do a, a talk on training your dog. Um, he's going to bring his own dog for demonstration, talk about animal behavior. Um, we are going to have um, the town um, animal patrol officer here, animal control officer here, Jen. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be speaking with him, so that's happening on the 8th of March. On the 14th of March, um, there's going to be a talk <laughs> from an expert on composting and living soil. Oh, and what, please? Composting and living soil. Um, so... I happen to have an in on that on that one. My husband's the expert, so he's going to go <laughs> oh, in and good. do a I talk. Need help. Um, looking pretty well. And he is offered to do um, look at free samples of people's soil under the microscope. So he'll bring oh. his microscope in. If anybody has a soil sample they want to bring in, he'll do that. Um, we're going to do another game night, but this one's going to be a minute to win it theme. Um, that will be happening on March 15th. And then I don't know if anybody knows Anina Sinclair. She is a local, she's a teacher in the Barnstable district, but she's local to the area. And she is very passionate about um, teaching education and art and teaching through learning. So she is offered to come do a peg doll craft workshop. So kids, families can come do uh, peg doll crafts. And um, I actually have a peg doll 
picture here when I find it to you. Actually, um, do a peg show, do peg dolls, and then the kids will be able to take them home and they can use them to pass that around because I only had one copy. Um, so she'll, the kids, the families will decorate or individuals will decorate the peg dolls and then be able to take them home. Yeah, those are cute. Um, oh, and I missed February. This is happening in February and March. We have another military talk. Um, with the Cape Cod Military Museum is coming February um, 23rd and in March um, to do two talks on um, Iwo Jima. That is this month. Oh, yeah. And then I can't remember off the top of my head what next month's talk is, uh, March's talk is, but they, he'll be here on the 22nd, so the flyer will have all the information. Um, the other thing that we're going to be doing the end of March, on March 30th, is we've put together a local advertising event for any programs or businesses in Harwich that want to advertise um, what programs that they offer or what their business offers. Um, they can set up a table in the multipurpose room Saturday the 30th, um, and people can come check out um, the, like, we're going to have a, a table set up, the COA will have a table set up. Um, Chatham Shark will have a, a table set up. Um, there's a bunch of different local uh, companies that are going to come. And it's just kind of like a one-stop shop. Like, mm -hmm. want to know what's going on in Harwich, you know, programming-wise, and, and what is out there is offered. So, um, March 30th. March 30th, yes. Okay. Um, March 15th, backtracking, thank you. The Ides of March. What's that? It's the a, Ides of March. Yes, March 15th, from 5.30 to 6.30. This is the same night as um, the minute to win it. The Easter Bunny is going to be here for a photo op. Oh, nice. So um, she does it every year. The Easter Bunny comes every year, correct? Yes, yes. the Easter Bunny. The Easter Not, Bunny. Yeah, the doesn't Easter bunny. have a gender, <laughs> just a bunny. Easter Bunny. Just, <laughs> her, it's, just no, it's perfect. Yeah, it's There's just no her. her. It's just they. the Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny, yes. Oh. We'll be here from 5.30 to 6.30 for pictures in the lobby. It's happening inside, so if it if it rain or shine. Um, oh, no, I didn't. Uh, March 2nd, there's a lot of stuff going on. March 2nd, we have laser tag in the gym. Ooh. So. Um, Kids like that. They love that. Uh, adults like Kids. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're also doing a do-it-yourself Easter egg hunt, which is also backed by popular demand, so people can order to have an Easter egg package set up, and then it's like a to-go packet where they can just take them home and they're ready to, it's ready to use. You can hide the Easter eggs. Um, I think that's everything. Did I miss March anything? 8th is Women's Day, yes. and we will do the flower project that we did before. You can come in and write the name of a woman who made an impact in your life. We'll have thank you cards. We'll plant the name in our garden um, because... Um, with that, we all grow stronger. So I think that's all of mine. Yeah. So that's what we had so I did so not much. go in order, and I apologize. Well, I'll do better no, next you time. No, that's fine. It's, it's exciting. so much. <laughs> but then, yeah, that's, that's wonderful. We'll be in the and if anyone yes, wants to make donations Easter. to help you out, like with the Easter hunts and different things, can they contact you? Please. We would love them to contact us. <laughs> Where are we with the uh, circus uh, circus? Program? Oh, we're all excited. Can you, Glad you give brought me an update. Uh, can I say that, that here? In this it's not on the agenda. I'm no, sure. because it was separate. It's, it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. Howard Children's Fund is running that. Yep. And uh, we just got the contract just this couple days so ago. So it's a go. It's a go. They're just asking us, and when I'm going to sit with Carolyn after this meeting's over, they asked me, do we want to put an addendum on the bottom of the contract uh, about the community center? Like, can, can we come in and... Carolyn had verbally told me that before. Yes, we, they could come in um, to the, the building. What's the location? The location is so in the back field. Yeah, we're going to do it back. Yeah, what and, day is that, please? Um, don't quote me because I keep going brain dead. Um, it's July uh, 16th and 17th. It's it's that Wednesday and Thursday. I, Are you sure? It's I thought it might be June. No, it's July. July. No, it's July. No, we're in back. We're okay. back. This is... Um, it's probably best to talk with Eric because the people came down last week, two weeks ago okay. with Eric, and okay. they went through all the things in the back of the fields yep. and everything else. He has the whole packet, right. so he knows what it looks like, and he says we were a go on that. So um, 
Well, you know, I can send you a packet of information too. Yeah, I, I, I gave just it want to, to know Eric because you know it's going to you know the location will probably impact impact the uh, Cape Cod you know, South. Well, Island. that's what I that's why I try to keep in contact with Eric the whole time right. because it, for a week it's going to disrupt people. A week, roughly about a week. And the same thing with Carolyn. I I want to let her know too. Well, you got sixteen still... and seventeen, but uh, that's the day, the two days of the circus itself. Yeah, but it's then there's setup time and so the and setup time, breakdown time. They're and coming that. down that weekend before. Okay. Uh, don't quote the dates. Let me give them to you exactly okay. so I don't goofy up. I, I'd like to pass that on. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, they're coming down that weekend, and they'll be leaving that Friday by one o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. I understand that uh, the public might be asked to provide some housing. Yes, if uh, later on we'll contact if there's anybody that would like to house some of the children. Yeah, and they just have to have a quarry check. Yeah, but um, things like that. So um, we'll be notifying you there. We're just trying to work out all the Does yeah. details. Does Eric know the dates? Does he have the, all the oh, dates? Oh yeah, Eric and Carolyn were wonderful. Yeah, they good. came no, down no. for the meeting with us, and yeah. it was great. Good. Um, so, but I, I will get all so the I'll information. So I'll check with them. Get the they get the complete dates. Uh, yeah. You know. Well, we were waiting for the exact contract yeah. because they kept changing dates on us, which confused for the shows, yeah. and the shows are at one o'clock and at six o'clock at okay. night. So, but we'll get that. Is that sixteen and seventeen an all day all day event? All day they'd be going yeah. all day. Well, it'll tie up. Two shows a day. Two shows a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It should be a lot of fun, and I yep. think the kids will... I think we did this years ago, didn't we have a circus? We never years? had a chance. They, oh, the other towns up Cape got a chance. I thought we had a circus at the end of high school years, when I first came in town. I don't 20, remember circus, years ago. circus. No, I don't remember. We, we had a lot of other stuff, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'd be able to do some like programming that... Like well, that's what of, we want to connect yeah, with you after, yeah. you know. Yeah. But we wanted to be sure we had the contract before we went forward. And then we started, you know... We'll be getting in touch with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Fun ideas. So, yeah. Yeah. So to our credit, I want to thank our director too and Eric also Good. Uh, thank you. for being so helpful and cheerful. Good job. Yeah. So thank you guys. And I, I don't want to skirt over, uh, but you had asked about donations. There is a, a fund, right, a gift account for the community center if anybody were so inclined to want to donate to. Uh, we're hoping people are inclined. I, I appreciate you bringing that up. So, um, when when we talked about doing a program specialist, I had envisions of us doing maybe four or five programs a month. Um, we <coughs> average about eight programs a month, which as I think is great. It's phenomenal. We have people coming. We're trying new things. Uh, but that does mean that our budget is more than limited mm -hmm. um, because I truly believe that the programs that we do should be very, 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 very reasonable, if not free. I try and make everything free. I know that there are struggling families and people in trying to provide. If you have a family and you have to pay for these events, some of them can be daunting and that's the exact opposite of what we want. So we Hopefully, I, I've been very fortunate, and the public has been amazing. A lot of the businesses donate the food for these events, so much so we called someone just yesterday to get food for the event last night, and they couldn't have been more gracious. I mean, those are expenses we can incur, but we can't. Um, and it just makes a difference to a complete program. A parent can bring their child and know that they can eat they're going to get a, a good event it, it's the experience mm -hmm. that we're trying to build here so um i hope I, as you all know i have increased our budget for next year in the line item for programming it's not enough it's going to be better but i i would appreciate i, I know i'm not allowed to ask but boy would that be helpful <laughs> Just want to make sure it was known that there's an account available if people are so inclined. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> and you get a very big thank you note with pictures of the people that you impacted, if yes. that helps. Sounds good. Thank, thank you. you. Are these businesses, businesses acknowledged in some way? Absolutely. We always send a note, and then we do a section in the newsletter where we can thank people okay. for what they're doing. But truthfully, some of the businesses are 
repeaters who just say whatever you yeah. need. Yeah. We're, we're so grateful. Yeah. So. Um, just so they receive credit for it. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. And I try when I have my budget meeting with the select board and everyone to say those things because the budget that we get is small and we really couldn't do it without without the communities mm -hmm. and the businesses' help. So, which is good. Okay. The event, uh, uh, the building use. Yep. That's where your draft letter should come in. Draft, yeah. draft, draft, because I've yep. already seen a typo in it. But I really wanted to give you a copy. Of, this is what I will put out when I fix that typo in there. There is no room increase, room fee increase. That happened last year, so mm -hmm. there won't be one. We. What happens um, is that I have met with both the Recreation Department and the Council on Aging and have told them that they're, uh, they get a very different letter, an internal one, because they are allowed to book first. So they get that uh, next week. They will get their letter. Has this been approved already? This is yeah. just a draft. Draft. Yep. But it has to go to the... Does it have to go to the select board oh, for no. approval? No. It's just us? The, just the, us. That's... Yeah, because we didn't change the okay. fees. It, it would only have to go to them if we were asking That's for an increase. Money, right? uh, so the COA and Recreation will be getting their uh, letter um, next week. They will get their dates back to us. We will book those. Then this letter will go out to the community um, and the groups and organizations, approximately 100 of them, who utilize this building. Um, I know I've talked to you all before about um, pretty much everything in here. We... We go through how if you're not going to use the room, you need to let us know. The select board did implement last year the $50 no-show fee for clubs and organizations. So we have not had to use that for clubs and organizations. They're all very uh, responsive to letting us know when they can't. Uh, and I have worked with both of the Recreation and Council on Aging to lesson if something happens within a department and we have a new system going forward. So I'm really excited about that in the future. Um, but please take a look at this and make any changes and get it back to us. As I said, this won't go out until uh, Recreation and COA has had an opportunity and they know they have a, a short window to get that back to us before we have to send it to the public. So Eric has this already. He will get it next. We met about it, but okay. he gets the actual official letter on okay. Monday of next week. Okay. When do you want it back from him? Uh, they have until the, um, this usually goes out to the public on March, whatever the March 1st, or if that's a Saturday, then the next. So he has the rest of February to get it done. March 1st is a Friday. So it goes out March 1st, as long as it's not a... And we email this to everyone. It will be in our newsletter. Um, and we have special uh, groups who have asked specifically for a hard copy mail to them. So we keep copies at the front desk. We try and go to each club and organization. You'll see me stop in at a lot of your meetings and say, did you get your letter? Don't forget. Um, so that's the clubs and organizations, what goes out next letter. Um, as far as the building use, I already told you about our new computer station, which we're excited about. One of the other things for building use, which I think is going to be um, very helpful going forward, is that I did meet with two of the other department heads in the building. And uh, just to talk about things that are happening within each of our areas. Um, and it was very helpful, so we have decided we're going to try and do that at least once a month. Uh, which I think will be helpful going forward. So, Carolyn, a question on this. Mm -hmm. uh, the funds that come in for the uh, use of, of the building rooms, they go into a revolving account or no. a general fund? General fund. Okay. Yeah, none of those stay with us. I mean, ultimately, I'm sure, but it's all general fund. Thank you. Of course. Uh, anything else? Okay, anything to do anything the next question? All right, ready to go on to the next one? Yep. yep. Operation. Um, so the, there's one area I want to just talk about. Um, 
under the operations of the building. Um, I am working uh, at the request of the assistant town administrator on the new bleachers uh, for the gym, as well as the fans to be put in in the gym. Um, I have a meeting on Monday going forward with that. I'm also working with Sean Libby. Um, so we're just in constant contact about some improvements and changes that have already been approved. So yeah. we're just moving forward on those. But just Where are we with the, with the bleachers? Are they, is it going to be a capital project? It's it's already been approved. It's the been money's approved. there. How, yep. much, how much money are we talking about? Um, so the whole project, I believe, was 174. Please don't quote me on that number. I didn't bring that packet with me. Okay. Um, but that was including bleachers and those coming up a time fans. Meeting. Is it coming up a time? No, meeting? it's already passed. It's been passed it's already. It's passed. Yep. Uh, uh, when when was it passed? Time uh, last year at the town meeting. meeting. Okay. Article sixteen under the okay. capital. Okay. Yep. Thank you. No problem. Um, and the other thing is, I'm sure you're all aware of the small room that is across from the recreation office. Mm -hmm. And I know I had mentioned to you that that might be where they sell beach and dump stickers. Um, certainly we have been talking and uh, I think Angie, we might have mentioned it too. One of the other areas um, that we would love to do is if that's not when that's not in use for things like the um, beach and dump stickers, maybe we could be setting it up to be more of a teen drop-in space that's more comfortable. Maybe they could do, you know, some smaller tables where they could do some homework, but maybe a couch in there. Um, I think it's not enough space, which we all know, but we have to start somewhere um, and... Uh, I will hopefully get more direction on the beach and dump sticker sales yeah. uh, because that will impact because, as you know, we sell those for about a month or two months over in this building. And But that is... I think, uh, if I may speak uh, as chair of the Rec Commission, I think that would be a very good thing to be able to do for the kids. If we have a space for them where they can sit quietly and do their homework, we took all those machines out of there. That's great. Uh, and if they can have that opportunity to use that facility for, you know, it's been very busy. These kids are coming in from high school. They need a place to sit, do their homework, maybe just chat, socialize, whatever they do. Uh, and when you, you know, that space would be a very appropriate for them, giving them a little privacy and so on. Sure. Thank you. Okay, thank you for tackling that. This is good. Okay, any, anything else you wanted to add on? That's, that's enough. You've done a lot. Oh, You've done a lot. I yes, just talked all day. Sorry. No, no it's great. If I may great ask, uh, just as a, uh, an update, yeah. uh, I think one of the meetings we held several months ago, uh, Carolyn, we talked about doing a strategic plan, five years uh, strategic plan for the, for the facilities committee in terms of your needs and wants and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, have you looked into any of that? Uh, where are we with that? Uh, sure. Some time ago, I gave you all a copy of the plan. Uh, I can. We have a, It's a five-year plan. A, a uh, well, it's a strategic I it was a plan. I called. I think it, it was a draft. Yep. A, a the strategic, strategic plan. plan. Yeah, that's. I, I'll bring it. Uh, can we put it on revisit the next that for, my, for the mm -hmm. next meeting? Fine with me. Sure. The uh, kind of tackling on about use and use but um, building uh, local comprehensive surveys out there mm -hmm. and they're missing um, information from younger people the seniors have responded in great numbers yes but um, folks under that age in 20s and 24s up to the 25s well and i no, think 50 and yeah, below yeah. Uh, yeah, but I'm guessing a little bit on yeah. that band, but I know yeah, not our age group, Ralph, you and me, we responded well. I've, I've seen it shared quite frequently on social media, so yeah. I know I filled it out. But yeah. um, but that's not reaching the younger people. The younger, no. younger people. Reaching, you're young. Yeah, yes. I mean, well, you're young, but yes, yes, you're young. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> you mean I should fill it out. <laughs> yeah. And another way to do that might be maybe through the schools yes. and the parent newsletters yes. that go out every week that yes. might be another way to get the younger parents involved too yeah good idea and, and that made me think of the strategic plan because you know if 
if uh, well the various age groups have various <coughs> needs and we may get glean something for the community center from Chihuahua? local comprehensive yeah mm -hmm. you know it'll probably focus heavily on housing yes but, uh, nonetheless. waterways housing yeah. sewerage and so on yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. if i could yes. tack on to that um I know it might seem sometimes when we go through all of our programming, we have like just an array of very different things and there doesn't seem to be themes to anything. And we, but what I have noticed, and I noticed this huge last night, um, there were four families that I had never seen in the community center before. Now I've been here for, you yeah. know, seven months now. So I see a lot of repeat, a lot of yeah. families you expect to come to all the mm -hmm. events, a lot of, um, but I saw people I had never seen stuff nice. and they, and they said they didn't realize we were, we did so much here. So I think one, you know, one of the things that I'm realizing is that when we offer such a different array of things and we bring new people in, I got an email from a young lady that participated in the um, talent show, and she said she just moved to Harwich, and this was the first of many things she plans on doing at the community center. So just okay. continuous, you know, it was a small group last night, but I really feel like all through all all of the I say three because I had three very long conversations specifically with three family members but all the families that left last night i felt like we connected with That's and good. we'll be back so i will have them fill out that i was survey. just going to say it's a great <laughs> yeah. opportunity to and i do yeah. pass out flyers at the, yeah. at, the, yeah. at, the, at, the pro, at the program so i think they cut it off uh, march 1st or it's early march yeah. right yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's great networking because they'll go back and start talking with oh, their yeah, friends. One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, and we really like. I spend a good chunk of part of the week just reaching out to all the schools and making sure that yeah. it's in their newsletters and yeah. that. That's know, a biggie. Yeah, it is. There's just so many different avenues. Yeah. You know, it's not just a newspaper anymore. People don't just look at the right. one newspaper for their information. There's so many yeah. marketing. Right. Uh, you know, and, and, you and might... it's it's overwhelming, and that's one part. You know, back to the marketing mm -hmm. adver yeah. advertising event. Just it's so overwhelming as a parent, right? To not know where to get the information, information. from. It might be nice to ask use. the schools when they send out that information that you're giving that it's in multiple languages. Oh. So especially yes. Spanish. And Most of them just automatically Asian. do. Yeah. yeah. So you just want to reinforce yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. So um, anything else? I'm going to go around the room and see if there's anything else you'd like to add, Chris. No, thank you. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. You're good. Also, nice thank you. You're good. My pleasure. Have we encouraged the select board representative liaison to attend these meetings? Mr. McCaskill, have we ever asked him to? Larry Valentine used to come yeah. to our meeting tonight. Um, I honestly have not specifically reached out to him. I know when we were working on the um, the charge, he was in contact with me, um, but I can certainly okay. ask him if you would like. I, I think it would be appropriate. Yes. At one time, this committee was threatened, as, I, as you may recall, with this ban. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's important that they select people. Know what we're doing. Exactly what we're doing yeah. during these meetings. So. Mm -hmm. And we have one that comes to all our meetings at uh, the Red Commission. I don't know who's appropriate. Julie. Comes. Julie comes, approach, yeah. But I think somebody should. Have, so. They've just uh, made re uh, new Good assignments point. since Mary uh, left. So they're carrying a bigger load now as liaisons until the special, yeah, well, the special right. election, really the regular election. But we haven't Local. seen a liaison in yeah. years. So that might be something. We, yeah, good point. Good point. Okay, Carol, did you have anything you want to add too? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, our next meeting is oh, on yeah. um, March 8th at um, 2024 yep. at 3.30. Okay. Question. And yeah, I mean, why are we meeting at, at this hour? We used to meet. At I don't know. One o'clock. Some people morning. are still working, working and have careers. Yeah, working, sure. So yeah, just to meet. Uh, make I got it. you. Yeah. Yep. No yeah, problem. No and ruination of the leisure class. <laughs> That's right. Sorry. We want to make it available <laughs> to everyone. And Carolyn, would you remind us in March when that selectmen's meeting is on? It's on a Saturday. So it's and, March second. And uh, the time. And when, when we get closer. Yeah, I have okay. not received the time. No, yet, that's so. okay. Okay, do I have a motion to adjourn? I so move. Okay, second. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.